Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, let's take a look at the gold market. And guys, the situation on the gold market right now is a bit tricky. Uh, we have uh, talked about it in the last week, but uh, on, the, uh, on the current week, on the data that we've got, uh, has made the situation even more tricky than it was on two weeks ago. Because um, from the technical point of view, if you have read our weekly research, you probably know that the market was uh, has formed an opposite pattern. So on the monthly chart, we have the uh, bearish dynamic pressure and bearish uh, uh, grabber that suggests the taking out of the 1080 lows. While on the weekly chart, market has formed the bullish grabbers that has the, that suggests the taking out of the recent top. Uh, uh, and uh, also it suggests uh, that the raising of the bearish grab on the monthly chart. Uh, since two weeks ago we haven't got any support on this coming of traders report, so uh, and we said that probably this rally that we have right now uh, is very unreliable, so it's it's really a good good fail because we do not see really a real purchases from the investors uh, that could support this rally. Uh, and we have said that if we will not see this support in the next week, uh, because on the current week when we have the data that uh, so shows the uh, money flow after the Fed Reserve uh, statement. That's why it's important. If we will, and we said if we will not get the, on the next week, then probably this rally will be doomed, and we will not take any bet, any bet on this rally. But guys, on the last week, uh, we maybe do not have the impressive inflow of money in the gold market, but still we see some small growth on the uh, net long position on the gold market. And uh, what's more interesting that this Peter Fund shows the inflow approximately the six tons in the last week. This is not impressive inflow, uh, six tons. It's not. It, it's even uh, stands below the average inflows, weekly inflows. But still, this is not really a uh, very small inflow. That's something around the uh, average inflow, it's slightly uh, lower. But still, we see some in some support that market that investors uh, have made some purchases on the gold market, and uh, this situation becomes the overall uh, context blur. And all that we could say right now in relation to the long term perspective on the gold market is that we need to see the breakout of some important levels. If market will move about this top, in this case we could say that probably we will get further upward continuation. If market will fail uh, to hold here and will start dropping lower, then probably it will tell us that uh, the rally is over and market will continue to move lower. But guys, as on the way up, as on the way down, we probably will get some more signs uh, from the comment of traders' reports, and we, we will get some additional information uh, that will let us to get some confidence uh, as in the one direction as in the other, as soon as market will start to move. But right now, until we are waiting for this clarity uh, to resolve the riddle of the long-term perspective, in the short-term perspective, gold shows the bullish context because on them. Weekly chart, we have the bullish grabbers, we have uh, uh, bullish trend on the weekly chart on the daily time frame. Trend is also bullish. Take a look, market also stands above the monthly pivot point. That's also bullish. That's why our overall context right now is bullish. So, uh, theoretically, level, we need to search the chance for taking the long position. What we have right now, first of all, market has hit the target of this A, B, C bottom 618 extension. So this is a minor ABCD extension, and market has hit the resistance. So this is daily average ever bond. And take a look very close. Stands confidence 1165, 1173. So already market has tested it once. Um, also slightly higher stands the monthly pivot resistance one. So this will be really significant challenge, significant barrier for the market since this will be rock hard resistance. Still. 
we see some acceleration here and if market will continue action with this E, B, C, bottom, D pattern, next destination point will be somewhere around 1190. Uh, this will be A, B equals C, D target. And what's more interesting, this could be the butterfly. So you can see the 127 extension of this resonance swing down stands at the same area. So if market, for example, will start to show some bounce down as reaction on, the on this resistance, this could start to form the right wing of the butterfly. It's really could, could be formed the butterfly here. Um, that's what, we'll, what we will be watching for on the gold market the next week. First, we will be watching for some retracement. Second, we'll be watching some support areas and to understand whether we do, do uh, will we really would like to take the long position there. Um, on the follow time frame chart, we have minor ABCD pattern. You can see AB equals CD. And market hasn't quite reached the target of this pattern. So if even you will take the as A point, not this low, but this one, market still hasn't quite reached it. So that's why uh, it's very probable probably that uh, market will try to reach this target first, complete this target, will hit the weekly period resistance one before any meaningful retracement will start down. Before this retracement that we are waiting for will start, probably market will, start, will try to move slightly higher. That, by the way, coincides with this confluence resistance area in previous top, as you can see on the forward time from chart, stands in the same area. So market probably will reach this before starting to move, on, move down. The possible destination points of this retracement stands right here, this weekly pivot point, and probably this will be the confluence, since if market will complete this target, these levels also will move slightly higher, because the top will move also to this area. Uh, so this will be probably the confluence around uh, um, 1145, 1140 area approximately. This weekly pivot also, this will be natural support resistance area. As you can see, this previously was resistance, and now it will become the support. And again, if market will start to move down, it's also will be support. And the next area, the deep retracement that could market reach will be stand somewhere around weekly pivot support one and monthly pivot point. So approximately 1125, 1130 area. This level, that it probably will coincide with the major 6 1 in support. That two major levels that we will be watching for is a possible destination of the deep retracement down. Um, also, the weekly pivot point, the weekly pivot support one, uh, it's important because we know that when the market stands in the retracement on the bull trend, the pivot support one should hold this retracement. And we know that until pivot support one holds the retracement, this should be treated as a retracement, not as a reversal. That's why this level also will be significant. So, uh, but guys, for us, for us in general, it's not really a big deal how market will start move down. Whether it will start uh, even right from from here, for example, if market uh, will start move down retracement right from this area, it's it's really not a big deal for us. Or it will complete first the ABCD and then start retracement because here we have no plan to take the long position right from this area because market stands very close to the resistance and we need some deep to buy to take the long position. That's why whether market will start downward action right from here or it will complete first this ABCD and start move down from, from there. Um, that's it's, it's the second question for us. For us, it's major point to watch for is the support levels and uh, watch the response, how market will respond on them to clarify, uh, to understand where we should take the long position. That's our primary task. So let's see what we will get on the gold market next week.